Hi, my name is Alyssa Simpson and I am a second year PA student who has also worked at Parker Cornea for two years in the past. And today we're going to be talking about subtenons injections and the use of Expiril in these blocks. Um, so when we do our subtenons blocks, we currently use curved forceps, Westcott scissors, a wet cell that's soaked in preparacaine, and a milliliter of Expiril or bupivacaine depending on what the patient would like to use. So when we're doing our Expiril injections, the first thing that we're going to do is take that wet cell that is soaked in preparacaine and we're gonna hold it on the infranasal aspect of the eye for about 30 seconds. Sometimes you are gonna to have to move the wet cell a bit more nasal, just, in, or I'm sorry, inferior, in case there is some growth on the nasal aspect, such as a pterygium. Then using the curved forceps, you're gonna pick up some of the conjunctiva and the tenons and make a small cut using the Westcott's. And you're gonna dissect down through that tissue with the Westcott's and make a channel for the angiocatheter. Then you're gonna guide the angiocatheter through that channel that you made and slowly inject the Expiril or the bupivacaine into the eye. Sometimes you can meet a little bit of resistance and it's okay to back out at that point and readjust your angle. We have been using Expiril at Parker Cornea for the past year and we have found that it gives the patient the longest amount of pain control after surgery with the anesthesia lasting up to 72 hours. So that's why we have found that we prefer to use Expiril here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.